Joining me is Herb Brooks, the legendary coach of the 1980 Olympic team, and of course also at the University of Minnesota and at the professional level as well. And first of all, since we're at a college hockey game, Herb, if you could reminisce a little bit about the 78 team and just what it takes to win a national championship. Well, a lot of bounces, hot goalkeeper, uh, a lot of a lot of little things, obviously, because when you get to the final eight or the final four, you know, any one of those teams, uh, you know, could win something. Uh, so it's all, it's all the little things. I don't think there's any one big thing. It's just, a, you know, face-offs are important. BU lost a couple of uh, big uh, face-offs here today that cost them very, you know, very dearly. So I would have to think just the little intricacies of the game. Now, in 1980, your team went on at the U.S. Uh, Olympics. They won the championship with the Miracle on Ice team, 1980. That team was made up of college hockey players. Uh, I know at the time, pros weren't allowed in, but uh, still, those players had to have been uh, great players to accomplish what they did. Well, there's no question. The, the 1980 Olympic team, uh, they're all products of the, you know, the NCAA program, the colleges, universities across the country. Uh, the team I had at Minnesota in 79, we had about 10 of those guys that won the, the national championship. Uh, I think the 1980 team was just a, really a, a testimonial to the fact that, uh, you know, the fine programs that we have in the United States, uh, the fine coaches, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, you know, again, I was in the right place at the right time.